Hello my friends, it's Wanya once again for the Let's Play Kick Gaming Channel bringing you Dark Souls 2 episode number 19. And now, I'm not going to lie folks, I haven't been playing Dark Souls 2 for a long, long time and I've just called it a walkthrough. Bros, this is a blind Let's Play. The last thing I remember was getting to this bonfire and then I had a horrible situation at the last place I was living which resulted in me being temporarily homeless. Uh, I've since moved home, I've got my studio back on the ground, my YouTube is back where it belongs on the internet going strong but now I need to get back into Dark Souls 2 so this is the plan folks I'm gonna find out where the hell I am and remember what the last thing I did is which was upgrade my knight's armor get rid to get my great sub to plus four I've got a twin dragon great shield equipped now where the hell have we unlocked so far so we we we're in Medjula, we've got things betwixt Forest of Fallen Giants, Hyde's Terror Flame, Harvest Valley, Huntsman's Cops, The Lost Bastille, Nomen's Wolf, and Earthen Peak. Yes, I remember now. So I went through the Huntsman's Cops, got to Harvest Valley, and then ended up in Earthen Peak, which is where we are now. Apparently the last time I played I died here, so I'm just going to get my souls back. We've got the bro there, that's probably the guy that killed me to be honest, so I'm going to press Y to go uh, one-handed. And we're going to try and kill these guys, so I didn't expect to be ambushed by all these. I'm going to... Uh, let go of my shield and heal my stamina a little bit. Got one left. Then I'm going to try and figure where the hell I've got to go next. Like, you're still alive, you son of a bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Not off to a good start. One minute in, I've already fucking died, which means I've lost all them souls. However, I've just remembered where I've done. Uh, we got to this bonfire, we set that windmill thing on fire using a torch. Now, I can't remember why I did that or what I aimed to achieve from doing that, but we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> we are playing blind. Now, I have lost all of my souls already, haven't I? Now I can get them back because I collected them before I uh, restored again. Okay, revival. Retrieval, I should say. So, I have no idea where to go. Again, this is a blind let's play. I'm going to use a human effigy right now to restore my humanity. Uh, I am going to keep my Estus Flasks plus one equipped. I've got four of those bastards now. I'm going to rest at the bonfire one more time to get my hit points back on track. Then I'm just going to head upwards, folks. I'm going to wing it. I'm going to see how we get on. Check this out. Sir Bike in the fourth is back alive and in colour. So let's head up here now. Uh, B sprint. I'm just getting used to the controls again. Oh, that's a trap. That's a good thing I noticed. That's... That, that would have ended badly. So I'm going to climb up here. Uh, we've got a room. No, we haven't got a room. We've got a bro hiding, though. Heidi bro. We've got a room that way. Uh, this scenery is flawless, and we've got a room that way. I think I'm going to head this way first. Where have we got in the distance here? We've got a fog door just across the way. Uh, we've got some statues. Got plenty of folks just crowding around there. That's not where we, where we want to go. I'm going to go with my shield just in case I get ambushed, but it looks, looks to be safe enough. Oh, we got a couple of uh, bitches there. Can I get past these or not? Are these, these are mages by the looks of it, so I don't want to aggro them too much. Uh, if I go for my bow and arrow, I'll go two-handed. I will aim. I will zoom. How the fuck do you zoom in this? Don't think you can. There we go. We've aggroed that bitch. Jesus, she's angry. Yeah, I knew though they, they were mages. That was a... Uh... Oh, she set herself on fire. Is this one on fire as well or not? No, but we can kill her off. There we go. That's how you deal with mages, guys. That's how you deal with mages. That was completely accidental, if I'm being honest. Uh, where has she got? A dragon charm? Oh, Christ. Big bro. Big bro coming up. I'm going to lock onto this son of a bitch. I'm going to roll out of the way of his attack. I'm going to go two-handed to deal more damage. I'm going to swing like there's no tomorrow with this son of a bitch. Dice there. There we go. We've got a big bro dead. Dead and buried, folks. Dead and buried. Let's see what this guy has for us here. Desert Sorcerer's Top and a Magic Stone. I'll check what these are in a bit, but we've got another bitch up there anyway. So, uh, priorities, folks. I am going to go for my... A bow and arrow again. We've got some more across the way blocking that fog door. My guess is that this is a boss door, to be honest. So let's go for that. There's one. Agrod. He's coming this way. So I'm going to go two-handed again. Wait for him to get here. Here he is. Then we'll swing before he swings at us. Nice and simple. Good old powerhouse build doing the business, folks. Uh, let's go uh, two-handed with the bow again. 
Oh, careful, we don't want to be aggroed by her fiery, fiery fireballs. There we go, aggroed him as well. Then we simply need to run up and kill that bitch, but it might be best to get her from afar, because I assume that if the magic uh, catches off, off guard, I, like this guy did just now. Shit. Right, fuck you, you cunt. Damn, son. Yes. You take that prick. Pick up an item for a silver back spear. Silver black spear. It's <laughs> that's flapping in the distance. Now you know he'd be loving that shit right here. Right, so what we got here? We got a silver black spear. Oh, I've got two of those. I must have already examined them in the past. Let's see what items those bitches gave us. One was a magic stone, I believe. A dragon charm. Cures poison and greatly restores hit points. Uh, where else? It was a magic stone, I think. If I can find it. Let's take a look-see, shall we? Come on, where is it? Where the fuck is it? Magic stone, where are you? Where are you, magic stone? I have no idea. I don't really give a fuck. I'm just angry at this. Now, this bitch is going to try and catch us. Yes, she is. Jesus! She's angry. Right, I think I've cleared the fog door, so if I sprint, where did, did they, these guys come from? I think it was it around. There's some stairs. Okay. Oh, he's had a summon sign. Yes, it is. Who can I summon? Jester Thomas. Who are you, Jester Thomas? Summon sign probably means that we are going to be attacked by a boss when we get in here, so... I should be able to kill her now, from here. And that's Jester Thomas who's going to go and give us some beef. Nope, she's still coming after me. Jester Thomas is with us, so uh, let's head in here and see who we've got. He's right there with us. I've never seen Jester Thomas before. Is he a new NPC or what? Come on, Thomas. Jesus, what the fuck? Well, that's a boss. That's a... Big boss, Jesus, she's got no head. What's going on here? Oh, so Jester Thomas. Myth, Mytha, the Baneful Queen. Maybe I'll, if I let Jester Thomas do the business, I'll just uh, watch. He seems to be doing right on his own, to be honest, if I can just get in and get a big attack. She's holding her head, bitch. She did some damage as well. No, don't come after me, don't come after me, go after him. Go after the Jester. I'm nice. Crikey. Everything's poison as well. Come on, Jester, you can do this, bro. I'm poisoned. I are poisoned, folks. But she's she's uh, almost dead, so come on, Jester. Oh, he's a mage. That's why he's dealing such badass damage. If I just keep using the life gems... At least until like, Jester Thomas can get some more damage in, then I can run in and steal the last hit. Then we should be able to kill her completely by accident. Bitch! That's right, motherfuckers. I steal the glory. Thank you, Jester Thomas. Victory achieved against that baneful queen snake thing. Myth of the baneful queen soul. Nice. Nice. Right, now where the hell does this, this go? I'm still poisoned, I think, am I? No, I'm all, I'm all good. Uh, so I came in through that way. We've still got another room to search in there, though. Look at this artwork and scenery. It's fucking glorious. Absolutely beautiful. Pardon my French. So let's head this way and see what we've got in the distance here, shall we? We've got a lift leading up. What does this do? Nothing. We can't use that. That's probably to summon the lift in the event that we get stuck up there or something. So let's head in here and see what this elevator leads towards, shall we? As if we just killed the boss and I didn't even panic that much. That's odd, considering how much I panicked at the skeleton lords, for example. But then again, I think it's because we actually had a good NPC fighting alongside us. It's a good job I did reverse my humanity. I mainly did it just for um, the life boost again. I didn't expect there to be a boss there, but fair enough. Fair enough. Jester Thomas, though, I haven't met a Jester Thomas yet. Is he a phantom? Is he a ghost? Or is he a friend that I'm about to meet or something? I have no idea. Ooh. Skeletons. Careful now, Wayne. What have we got here? Whoa. Now that looks awesome. 
That is awesome. Look at that. That is glorious. I'm very happy with that. The Iron Keep. Now, I've heard a lot about the Iron Keep from friends. Apparently, it's a very, very difficult part of the game. So, let's head down here. Uh, here's a bonfire, so that, that was a good guess. We got an item just across the way there on the fire. Now, we've restored our humanity. We've rested at the bonfire. Uh, so, now, if we travel back to Medulla, uh, we can see if we've got any of our... Uh, what are they called? Titanite shards, if we can actually level anything up. If not... And I'm going to get a few levels before we move on. That seems to be a good idea. Right, so we're in Medulla. I really don't think I have any Titanite shards. Does she sell Titanite shards or what? You've been long away. What would you like? Well... I've only one thing to provide, and we both know what that is. Boobs! <laughs> Buy item. No, she still sells no Titan shards. Burning bonfire to strengthen nearby fire. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. You can keep that bitch. Right, so no she's got interest. nothing. <laughs> Suit yourself. Let's see what the blacksmith has to say. I knew you'd be around soon. Go on, show me what you've got. Mate, I've got a human effigy if you want to be human again, bro. Repair? I don't need to repair anything. Reinforce? I can't reinforce my greatsword. I can reinforce my helmet. How's that? Mannequin mask. Well, that's creepy as hell. Let's see what that looks like, shall we? Uh, if I reinforce my helmet to 38, that'll give us a little bit of a boost. I'll be around. Let's see what this mannequin head looks like. I think I've seen it before. I think I may have shown you guys before. Fuck! Well, that is creepy as hell. That is creepy as hell. So I'm going to equip the Night Helm again. Uh, let me see what else I've got in here that I haven't noticed for a long time. Uh, the club can go. I'm just going to stick to the bow, which I will now put in the second slot. Bow and greatsword is good. My twin dragon great shield is good. Uh, I've got plenty of uh, souls going on right now. Bow, uh, bros, so bows. <laughs> Dumbass. What I'm going to do is use all of these. Look at these. I've got Mytho, the Baneful Queen Soul, Covetous Demon Soul, Skeleton Lord Soul, and Soul of the Pursuer. Soul of a Brave Warrior. I'm going to use all of the Fading Souls. How many will this give me? 300. Well, that's bullshit. Use the Soul of an Endless Soldier. Use the Soul of a Brave Warrior. Uh, soul of the Pursuer, Skeleton Lords. I'm just going to use these. Skeleton Lord Soul. For 6,000. Covetous Demon. Was that the big Jabber the Hut thing going on? I think it was. Uh, Mytha the Bait. She had a big spear. I think the Pursuer had a large greatsword. I think that's why I'm inclined to keep that one. Just in case we can get hold of that sword. Lowers required intelligence for one chosen spell. So we've got 44,000 souls now. I think I'm going to focus on getting my hit points up. Uh, just because I think that we can use the Covetous Cat Ring. I think that was what it was called, something to do with cats. To drop down that hole. So I'm going to go for hit points all the way. That will take me to level 23 hit points, 1,326. So I'm going to go for that. 39,000 spent just on hit points, folks. And that's a nice boost right there as well, so that's not bad at all. Now I'm going to speak to this bitch because I don't want to waste any more souls on death. Uh, let's see what she's got nice. Nothing, just the travelling merchant stuff again. She's got three human effigies left. I could buy those, or I could buy life gems again. I'm just going to go for all the life gems, I think. Uh, what's this do? Spell usage, fire damage, witching and magic damage, Lenigrass key. Hmm. I'm just going to go for life gems. It's 5,100 spent on life gems. Now let's see if I can actually drop down here now. So that would be good. Who, who's this? The fuck is that? Hi. Who are you? Uh, the name's Gilligan. Aye. Right. Don't make me say it twice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do you want, bro? I stock everything that you could possibly need. Oh, I've just spent all my cash. <laughs> Prick. Learn gesture. Prostration gesture. Set you up want ladder. to go down that awful hole. 
You must have lost your marbles. You gotta be kidding me, I've just spent all my souls. Fine, sure, fine, I'm happy to be of service. For the cost, of course. You need a ladder then, sure enough. But you'll uh, yep, have to show so. some generosity. I haven't got enough. <laughs> fine. Right, we'll try that again later. Let's see what he's got to sell. Let's see what he sells first, actually. Reinforced club. Ooh. Intriguing. A whip, claws, and a wooden shield. Armor-wise, he's got a thief mask, black leather armor, black leather gloves, and black leather boots. Item-wise, a lacerating knife, aromatic ooze, bleeding serum, and ladder miniature. An ornament depicting a ladder. Okay. Let's talk to him now, then. Oh, I should have listened to the warnings. This place is flipping mental. Huh? No, I wasn't born here. I'm, I'm from a wee bit. I'm from a wee bit out west. That's all. I've seen some rough times. I think I'll settle down for a while. Let's talk you to wouldn't yet. believe the shenanigans that happen in my business. I thought at, at least here in the middle of nowhere, I could stay clear of you know. My old pals. Oh, don't ask me what happened. Have you no discretion, the old chum? I'm not asking him again. That I want to know what old. happened. Well, search me. It's where the people around here toss all their rubbish. It's going to be like Blight Town again. You know what? Or whatever they'd rather be rid of. Oh, and and. Those human statues. Who are they supposed to be? Hey? Anybody, I suppose. Probably just some old pagan costume. W what's it like at the bottom of the hole? I mean, why in the hell would I know? <laughs> it's a long way down. He's got a ladder. Why did I have to spend all my souls? Somebody told me that the grave of, of a saint lies below here. N not built by the king, no, no. It did back to that time long before him. The tomb connects to that hall. And there's there's something about some some rat king down there. Well that sounds fun. Hell <laughs> if the old rat is as rich as they say, maybe I should go and pay him a visit. I agree, I might go and do that myself. As long as I can get a ladder. I should have listened. Right, okay, so that's all he's got. I've already spent all my souls before I realised this guy was here. So what I'm going to do is, I've spent all of my souls on hit points. I'm going to use a life gem. I'm going to try roll down here now. Yes! Alright. I'm happy with that. One Estus Flask. Uh, pick up an item, a Radiant Life Gem. I'm going to use a regular life gem as well for the next drop. Uh, which is the best way to go? It's going to be this way now. So nice, then... Boosting hit points is exactly what we needed. Radiant life gem and a Pharos Lockstone. Sweet. Sweet. Still a long way to go, though. What is going to be the best way? Uh, I have no idea. I don't think I can make it that far down. So it's probably this one here. Uh, then onto that one there. And then the ladder. Is that correct? Unless I can somewhere drop onto this platform in front of me. God, I'm pushing my luck right now. I am pushing my luck. Let's try, though. Let's try, folks. We've gone this far. No, that's a trap. Oh, God, that's another trap. Well, I'm fucked. That's a long way down. Right, at least we know at least we know that we can uh, get down here slightly. So let's try again. Let's try the second time. Did I, I didn't rest at the bonfire in Majula, did I? So I'm going to have to teleport back to Majula again. Where did I last rest? Was it the Iron Keep? Oh no, it was Medulla, fair enough. Okay. So let's head back to the gaping hole. Uh, we'll try and get down here again the second time. Thanks to the cat ring and the advancing hit points as well, we should be able to make it, providing I don't fall on any dodgy traps again. Uh, Esther's flask. Now, which one was it? Was this one here? This one here. Now, can I actually make that jump? I don't think I'm going to be able to make that at all. Oh, there's one right below me. That's too far. Maybe it's going to be a running jump job. Let's try it. It is a running jump job. Nice. Poison moss there. I'm going to use another Estus flask. 
Uh, the ladder is directly below me, so I think this is going to be another drop and hope for the best job. Let's try. Yes, it is indeed. Actually, there's a ladder there. <laughs> Let me see where this ladder actually goes to, because I think I may have just, like, pointlessly used Nesta's flask when I could have just climbed down. No, okay, this leads to a door. Let's see what this door... Okay, fuck you then. Toggle. I'll climb down and open the door. So that door is probably leads to somewhere else. Maybe the... That looks like it leads to the cellar in that other place. Uh, the, the mansion in Medulla, maybe. Hmm, intriguing. Maybe there's a method to opening it. Now, what is going to be the best way? I don't think I can drop straight down onto this, can I? Uh, let's have a go. Let's have a go. If, I think that's a roll job. Yep, sweet. Now I can just drop down onto this guy here and get this item. Ring of the Evil Eye plus one. What does this do? Let's take a look-see. Uh, Ring of the Evil Eye plus... Absorb HP from each defeated foe. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ring of Restoration, Silver Cat Ring and Ring of Blades. But I like that setup that I've got right now. I've got plenty of life gems anyway, so I'm not in dire need of the Evil Eye Ring. Uh, I think this is the other way now. If I drop down, that's a splinter drop, so I'm going to drop down onto here first. Take a quicker look around to make sure nothing's going to ambush me. And is that all the way down at the bottom now? I don't think we can get any lower. Yep, right folks, I think we've made it down to the bottom. Let's head through here and see where the hell we end up. I'm going to use a life gem just because I'm not going to risk my life at this point. Uh, I'm going to go one-handed again, same reason. Nothing here. Just some... Uh, cold looking stone walls and a pathway leading down into a causeway we've got an item there in the middle let's see what this does and we've got a broken rickety bridge uh, across the way we've got some torches lighting up the room where is that oh it's a crystal lizard fair enough it's a crystal lizard uh, no enemies in the vicinity by the looks except for this crystal lizard that i'm about to bitch slap actually no he's going to lead me over the bridge and the bridge is going to break that's my guess. So. Well, it's Dark Souls, so that's probably exactly what happens. Yeah, I'm, th that's going to happen, isn't it? Can I make that jump to that chest across the way? Let me see. Uh, let's go one-handed again. We'll try this. Yeah, sweet. Okay. I was wrong. This is going to be a mimic or something, though, isn't it? I need to roll out the way quickly, just in case. Nope, just an item. Sweet. Ash Knuckle Ring. What does this do? Uh, Ash Knuckle Ring is... Where is it? There it is. Increases petrification resistance. I'm probably going to need that. <laughs> probably going to need that. Uh, are there any enemies down here? Not by the looks of it. So I guess the only way is onward. There is no turning back. Roll down. Anything else around here? Oh, God! What are you? What are you? What the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? I died is what happened. I guess these guys explode themselves? Maybe. I'm kind of getting that impression. Not that I've been hinted towards that or anything by the fact that they just exploded all over me. Okay, so we know that we can get down the bottom of that uh, gaping hole now. So, let's, uh, to end this episode, let's go and check out the uh, Iron Keep, shall we? That's another place that I've yet to check out. It's one of the last areas as well, by the looks of it, so. Iron Keep, Threshold Bridge, Bonfire Intensity 1. Let's teleport back to the Iron Keep and see exactly what the hell's going on there. Very intriguing about that. Nice, Grand Tree, Grand Spirit Tree Shield. So we've got an item in the distance there. In the Iron Keep, we've got all of these ruins and lava and such. Uh, let's see what the Iron Keep is all about. See what the fuss is all about, shall we? Oh, on the opposite side, we've got another pathway leading down. So let's check out this causeway first. Causeway, that, that was inaccurate uh, terminology. Can I run and jump onto that? Nope. <laughs> oh, God! You prick! You prick, Wayne! You absolute dumbass, Wayne. I, I should have saw that coming. Why didn't I see that coming? Damn, son! Damn, son. Large club, a large wooden club. Well, that's very, very descriptive. Thank you very much for accurately describing the large wooden club to me, folks. Nice one. 
So we're back at this bonfire after a very, very embarrassing death. Let's sprint back up. We know we can't get anywhere down there. So let's head across the bridge and see exactly what this iron key business has to offer, shall we? Yeah, boys. Okay, let's take another look around. What's that? Uh, where have we got? Lots of lava that we know kills us in one hit. I can probably drop down there and go and get that item. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. Considering we got a bonfire right here. Apologies if you can hear a dog barking in the background. Because uh, I can, and it's doing my head. Ah. Yep. Didn't account for that, did I? I did not. Wow! I suck at the Iron Keep! I'm guessing this is why people consider this level so difficult, because there's lava everywhere, perhaps. Unless there's something else that I'm missing that I'm not seeing yet, that I'm about to see, that's going to scare the shit out of me, maybe. Point is, I've died twice, and I haven't even got in the building yet. Jesus Christ, look at that. It is glorious, though. I'm looking forward to getting in here. So let's just fuck all these items off, bastards, and then we'll head in here. Whoa, crikey, no, we won't, no, we won't, no, we won't. Where the fuck did you come from, big bastard? Oh, that's some nice armor, though, bro. Give me that. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God! What is that? What is that thing? Is that bleeding? Bleeding damage? Jesus! No! Right. Well, them are dead. They didn't drop me any cool-looking armor that they've got, though. That would have been nice. I would have liked that. Okay, let's uh, scout our surroundings before we move on. We've got one large door. We have a stairwell leading down into the pits of the Iron Keep, and another stairwell also leading into the pits of the Iron Keep. Uh, this is locked, and it leads only into lava, so it's probably an abandoned pathway uh, from the time before the lava uh, was inje injected here, maybe? I I'm not too sure about the history or lore, but we can't get this way either. So, that leaves only, at this present moment in time, the doorway. So let's see if the door can open into the Iron Keep. We've got a peculiar griffin-looking creature statued there on a stone pedestal. Very, very chilly down looking cold stone pedestal. Uh, we've got some ruined uh, church tower type things there on top. And we've got the drawbridge leading over into the distance, which is where we came from. We're not going to take the elevator back down, so let's just head through this door and see what the Iron Keep has to offer us, shall we? Another one of those bros, and a big, 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 big lava thing there. No doubt that's going to shoot me or something, so I'm going to go one-handed, and I'm going to keep my wits about me. So let's try and kill this guy. Oh, Christ, he's got a friend. He's bought his bros for the party. Okay, so we'll lure him just out ever so slightly. We'll finish him off. Sweet. Now, there's no way I'm going to be able to get that, is there? Can I swing at that? No, 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 no. Actually, did that actually stop that? I think it did, you know, guys. It did! For momentarily. Iron key. Well, we got the iron key. Even if I did die. Damn you, iron key, for being so iron and fiery. You cunt. Man, I need another coffee. Get Ooh. Berserker Blade, you say? I have been considering a uh, dexterity type build in this because we can actually respec our skills if we want to. Ooh. Take it, I'll take it, I'm going to die if I go for that item as well. Probably. Let me just go for a life gem. I'm going to sprint to try and get it. Yeah, I'm going to die. <laughs> Fucking hell. Look at that. He's, he's smiling at me. It's smiling at me. It's like, hey, I treat you, hombre. Why do I always imagine skulls to be Mexican? And why, do, why is my Mexican accent so shit and potentially racist? Damn, Wayne. That's low, bro. Damn. Chillax, amigo. Right, folks. I am going to leave it there because we are 30 minutes in. I've died so many times. We died not only on the uh, gaping hole pit, but we died so many times, embarrassingly, in the Iron Keep. We've, the closest we've managed to do is get into the I get into the keep and then we got on by that statue but at least we got the iron key so let's see what the iron key is how the fuck do I see what the iron key is items inventory keys many grass key blah 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 opens the iron door of the iron keep and it is an iron key so somewhere in here is an iron door 
that is opened by this iron key. Shit makes sense, bros, and that's what we're going to be doing when we come back for Dark Souls 2, episode number 20 of this blind let's play. Let's see what the Iron Keep has to offer. Let's see what all the fuss is about, because right now this place looks to be a bit of a bastard, but nothing too crazy. Am I going out on a limb and saying that without being careful of what's going to happen ahead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will return to the Iron Keep in the next one, my friends, and we've still got so many areas to revisit. We've got so many new areas still to find. I love Dark Souls 2. I'm so happy that I'm playing this once again. Uh, yes, my life situation has improved slightly now, so I'm going to be back recording in my studio. And you guys can follow me on Twitter at Let's Play Cat. I'm also going to be playing through State of Decay and State of Decay Breakdown in preparation for State of Decay Lifeline. Uh, Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 1 are both on my list to complete. So yes, we are back, my friends. 2014, this channel is going to be awesome. Thank you, my friends. All the best and goodbye.